Hi everybody, it's Mr. Westner. Today we are continuing the book Take a Wetlands Walk written by Jane Kirkland. Uh, and as we read today, we're going to be talking about some of the different creatures, some of the different wildlife that can be found here in the wetlands uh, at places like Canoe Creek State Park where I am today. Okay. It says wetlands are home to lots of amphibians. Amphibians are vertebrates that start life as aquatic larvae with gills. Do you know what a vertebrate is? If you don't, I'm going to look over here in the sidebar where they define that word. Vertebrates are animals that have backbones or spines. Their skeletons are internal. You are a vertebrate. So are monkeys, snakes, frogs, birds, and fish. Invertebrates are an invert in the excuse me. Invertebrates are animals without backbones, like jellyfish, earthworms, and insects. So amphibians are vertebrates. That means they're creatures with a backbone. They start their life as aquatic larvae with gills. Okay, that would be like a tadpole. Okay. Then they develop lungs, which they use to breathe air when they are adults. Frogs and salamanders are amphibians. Frogs might be the most popular of all the amphibians. After all, they don't bite, they are cute in a strange sort of way, and they make great sounds. Bullfrogs are my favorite frogs. Not my favorite, Jane's favorite. Do you have a favorite? I do, and we'll talk about it in a little bit, okay? Maybe on a different day, but we'll be talking about my favorite kind of frog. There are several stages to a frog's life. Egg, tadpole, froglet, and frog. And I'll post a picture of a frog life cycle, or maybe I can even uh, have that right here. Okay, so that was the frog life cycle. With a little luck, maybe you can find frogs in all stages of their life when you visit a wetland. I've been looking, and unfortunately I haven't been able to find any here today. Uh, but when you're out searching, maybe you'll find them. If you do, send me a picture. Okay. Look for frog eggs and tadpoles in shallow water. Depending on the species, tadpoles can hatch from eggs in just a few days. The change that takes place from tadpole to frog, here's another big domain specific word, is called metamorphosis, which means to change in form. The amount of time it takes to change from a tadpole to a frog depends on the species. For wood frogs, it can take 20 days to change from an egg to a tadpole and about two months to change from a tadpole to a frog. Bullfrogs take even longer. Uh, so depending on the species, the amount of time spent as a tadpole can vary a lot. Okay. The other thing here in the sidebar talks about frog or toad. How are frogs and toads different from each other? Frogs live mostly in or near water. Their skin is smooth and thin. Toads live mostly on dry land. Their skin is rough and warty. Most species of frogs taste good to predators, so they are built for quick escapes. Bulging eyes help them to see well. Skinny bodies and long legs help them to hop long distances. Webbed feet help them to swim fast. Toads have poison glands behind their eyes, which make them taste bad to predators. Predators pretty much leave them alone, so toads don't need to hop far. They can walk instead. Frogs lay their eggs in clusters. Toads lay their eggs in long chains. And here's a picture of a cluster of frog eggs. Okay, and then up there we have our author with a frog. She says, frogs are bio-indicators, an indication of the quality of the wetland. In other words, if frogs are present and healthy, that means the wetland is healthy. And we'll talk about some other bio-indicators as well. Uh, but bio-indicator, bio means life. Indicator means something that helps you tell about something. So indicate, think about that root word, indicate bio indicator life forms that help us tell whether an area is healthy whether a wetland area or any area really is a healthy area how long a tadpole stays a tadpole this depends on the species of frog it continues on page nine in bullfrogs tadpoles can stay tadpoles for up to three years tadpoles breathe through gills but grow lungs during their lifespan which they will use when they become frogs Tadpoles have long tails. They live in water. The tadpole will grow a pair of back legs first, 
Then it will grow front legs. When it has legs, some people call it a tadpole with legs. And others call it a froglet. The froglet's tail gets smaller until it disappears and the froglet becomes a frog. Frogs breathe through their lungs but continue to hang out in water. That's because oxygen can pass from the water through the frog's skin into the frog's blood. For this to happen, their skin must remain moist at all times. So even though they're getting oxygen from the air through their lungs, they can still take in oxygen from the water through their skin. That's pretty cool. Bullfrogs can live as long as nine years. Exactly how long they live probably depends on how many birds and other frog-eating predators they have to dodge in their lifetime. When people think of metamorphosis, they think of butterflies, not frogs. Oh well, it isn't easy being green. And of course, I love that there's a Muppet quote in there. That's one of Kermit's most famous songs. It's not easy being green. So that's a great reference. It talks over here on the sidebar on page nine about becoming a citizen scientist. And that's getting even easier to do with technology. So that might be something you want to look into. There's lots, if you do a Google search for citizen science programs or even citizen science programs in Pennsylvania or wherever your state is, uh, if you're not in Pennsylvania and happen to have found this, uh, that's kind of what we're looking at there. Frog Watch USA is a citizen science program. Citizen scientists are people who study science as a hobby and report their findings to a group of scientists to help them gather information about plants and animals. I wish that at least one member of every family in North America, or the world for that matter, were a citizen scientist. You can become a citizen scientist and learn about and help frogs and toads by joining Frog Watch USA. Learn more at NWF nwf national wildlife foundation dot org backs or slash frog watch usa okay all one word frog watch usa okay. and then i told you she said her nephew had drawn some of the caric caricatures and cartoons so there's a bull frog a frog that looks like a bull so being silly there all right uh if maybe wetlands and watersheds aren't something that grab your attention and frogs aren't the kind of citizen scientists you want to be, there's all kinds of citizen scientists. There's citizen scientist programs for studying the weather, for studying astronomy. Uh, so whatever it is you're interested in, you can probably find a citizen scientist program to help you with a few Google searches and things. So thanks so much for watching. Next time we'll talk about reptiles. I'll see you next time.